The Minnesota Fine Vikings offensive line has been a question for the last number of years, but the Vikings are starting to make some headway. They got the bookend tackles, the pillars of Hercules and Christian Derrissaw on the left, and Brian, the real deal, O'Neal, one of the best young right tackles in the game on the right. Uh, and with the new regime and the new offense and the new offensive line coach, Chris Cooper, you're thinking, okay, maybe the Vikings may have a stew going on the offensive line. And the two positions, actually three positions that should be up in the air were the interior offensive line spots. Left guard Ezra Cleveland was going to hang out his job. Bradbury, apparently they're just going to roll with him. Okay, baby. Yeah, go ahead. And then right guard had just been a gong show as of late. But we're starting to get some clarity from OTAs. And it does appear like Ezra Cleveland, the third year pride of Boise State, looks to be cemented in as the Vikings left guard. Or at least his path is clear to re-secure his starting spot at the left guard. And I love me some Ezra Cleveland. He's 24 years young. Uh, he's six foot six, 309, former second round pick number 58 overall in 2020 out of Boise State. And at the time... He was seen as a potential future starting left tackle, but then he kicked inside as a rookie, just trying to get him on the field. And then it was cemented him at guard uh, when the Vikings drafted Christian Derisaw last year, number 23 overall out of Virginia Tech. Uh, and now the question was, even though Ezra you know, moving positions, kicking him inside, does he have the size to hold up uh, in the interior in the National Football League? Could he transition from a quality college tackle to a solid NFL guard like Ali Marpet, like Jumpin' Joe Thune, like Alex Kappa, etc.? And the, the concerns were there, mainly leverage. He's too tall. He's too tall because on the inside, low man wins. Also, anchor. It's something that's been uh, bandied about a lot with Garrett Bradbury. And that's the drawback of having a primarily outside zone running scheme is that you want these smaller, more athletic offensive linemen. But when it comes down to one-on-one -on -one spots, diesel power, uh, sometimes you have to give up a, a little summon summon. Also, the speed of the game inside. It's a lot different than on the outside. But I think Ezra has transitioned relatively well. Uh, last season, he was 14th overall in the National Football football league in overall pff grade at 68.6 which if you round up it's pretty nice he excelled as a run blocker both in space as well as in tight because you'll see that the vikings in high leverage spots they'll run up ezra cleveland's ass because that was a big question you know could he have that horsepower to move the the pile uh in a goal to go situation or a fourth and one situation and he has had that so respect uh he'd struggled to a degree in pass protection, but then then again, who didn't along the Vikings' tier offensive line last year? 34 pressures allowed, uh, as well as o only one sack, interestingly enough. Uh, plus, he did have three penalties. Now, some of that could have been his supporting cast, right? Because you got Garrett Bradbury at center. Uh, his issues have been uh, very well noted. Uh, then at left tackle on his other side, you had Rashad Hill starting the season. Then you had the rookie, Christian Derrissaw. Even though he's going to be great, he's still a rookie coming in. Uh, as well as Ole Udo started at left tackle for a game. You, you forget that, right? So it was a gong show over that left tackle. And Bradbury at center. Uh, uh, but then KOC... It did say in the offseason that four of the starting offensive line spots were spoken for. Uh, and now it was inferred that the right guard spot was the one that was open. Now, that could have been lip service at the time. But as we're getting into OTAs, we're, we're starting to see that Ezra Cleveland uh, is getting all the first team reps. And it could be a function of you know bringing along rookie slowly because they did add a second round pick. That's the wrong slide. A second round pick, Ed Ingram, coming out of LSU. And it could be a spot where uh, they're bringing rookies along slowly, even though Ed Ingram, he, he started LSU, in, especially in pass protection, uh, and he played left guard there for the majority of his final couple seasons in Baton Rouge. Uh, so if Ed Ingram was going to uh, slide into the starting lineup, it would make sense that it would potentially be a left guard, even though right guard is completely wide open at this point. But uh, it does seem like Ezra has the inside track to hang on to his job. And if Ed Ingram is going to crack the starting lineup, maybe he'll have to switch over to right guard, which he played uh, quite a bit as a true freshman at LSU. Uh, but as of right now, uh, like has been reported, it's a veteran's Chris Reed coming from the over from the Colts, as well as Jesse Davis from the Dolphins, rotating in with the first team at right guard. So. I mean, it does seem like the Vikings do have 80% of the starting offensive line sutured up. Now, I'm holding out hope that Bradbury can turn this bus around, man. Even though they didn't pick up his fifth-year option, new regime, new year, new me. Hopefully, he's on that uh, Brian O'Neill 6,000 clean calories a day diet. Hopefully, Ezra's on that thing too, man. But... Uh, again, I, I do have hopes. I, I do have high hopes that the Vikings can have some uh, solidifying factors along the offensive line. Ezra Cleveland could be one of them. I think that he's ready to make a leap in year three because I think that 
He's progressed very nicely. Uh, the biggest questions uh, about him in terms of anchor as well as power run game have been answered. He's certainly got that down. Now, if he can get some uh, more chemistry going with Derisaw on his left, if Bradbury can step up on his right, I think that Ezra Cleveland is primed to have a phenomenal season. And as he goes, so goes the Vikings offensive line. As the Vikings line goes, so goes Kirk Cousins. As, so, as Kirk Cousins goes, so do the Vikings. Uh, so it all starts with Ezra Cleveland. <laughs> That's right. So Ezra has a good year. Super Bowl homeboy. That's exactly what's going to happen, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Ezra Cleveland, the path is clear for him to retain the starting left guard job. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. Bunch of next time. Skull, production value.